now at war with Germany. <laughs> Children! Well, I'm going to work in, in the field and do stuff. How long for? Well, it should be over by Christmas, so just when it's all holiday. Okay. When are we going? Now, go back. Merry Christmas. <laughs> okay, what else do we need then? Uh, an overcoat, a comb, a pair of wellies, a towel. Some soap, a face cloth, toothbrush, boots or shoes, pencils, sandwiches, a packet of nuts and raisins, and the chocolate chips. No, you need an apple because it's healthy, dry biscuit, and some barley sugar. Oh. It's other than sugar. Then you need a vest, a pair of knickers, a one pair. pair. Yeah, one pair. A petticoat. That's disgusting. Yeah, I know. A petticoat, two pairs of stockings, six handkerchiefs, a slip, a blouse, and a cardigan. What's a slip? Well, that's a very good question. Okay, that's it. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on then. I'm really going to miss this thing. Yeah, where's the slip will go? Some place far away. Well, yeah. it's time to go. So we need to go to the station. Come on. Okay. Okay. It's time to go. Have a good time. Bye, Mum. Oh my God. Bye, Mum. I miss, miss you lots. I miss you too. Say bye bye. Bye. Yeah, miss you. See you at Christmas. Yeah. See you at Christmas. That train journey was so boring, wasn't it? Yeah, it was boring. I know. Oh look, we have to go to the village hall. Oh, come on then. This village is so strange. Yeah, it's really not what we're used to, is it? No. I wonder where the village hall is. Mm. Oh look, there it is. Oh yeah, let's go meet the new people that we're going to be living with. Children! I'm Mrs. Partridge and I'm here to adopt some of you while you are being a practice. So, I will inspect you and see which child I prefer. You are far too short. Is that freckles? Yeah. Oh, you're such a beautiful child. I'm going to take you with me. No, 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 no. my sister. Yeah, we got another she, pair. She's got freckles. I can't see. We can't have a freckled child. We're twins. You can't separate us. No, yes. you just can't. Yes, I can. No. Come on, lovely child. No, no, no. no. My life has changed so much recently. I I never thought I'd be in that much stuff. I've had a good life on the farm so far and seen loads of animals they don't have in the city. I don't like my new family. There is a lot of children and I feel like I'm forgotten most of the time. I never get presents from mother and when I do, the other kids take them from me. It's horrible. <laughs> Look what your mum sent me. She doesn't care about you anymore. That's mine. Give it back. Yeah, right? Ooh, you're right, you need to start with that. Oh, and this time, my mummy's so much. It's my sister, actually. Bozo. Get lost. Yeah, there you are. I'm the only child on the farm, and Mr. Simon keeps me as if he's my own dad. He loves me as well. Without my sister, I feel like a part of me missing. I can't wait till the war's over. I haven't heard from her in ages. I get loads of presents from my mum, and I don't mind it here, but. I want my old life back. I want, I want my, my sister, sister back. back. 
In this project, we learned that evacuation was really important. It affected those people's lives, not only the evacuees, but the people that went to live with them and the parents that got left behind. And it changed their way of life and what they did in their day to day. It affected people because sometimes they never, if children, like young children, got separated, they might have got separated from like their siblings or um, they never got to see their like original parents again because they would have to stay with their evacuation siblings. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes they never got to see their original parents again. And um because something might have happened and it helped them because they didn't get like blown up, they got safe and um does it affect People's attitudes and beliefs today. What's on it? Does this lead to action lead to other important events? Um, well, we think it does lead to other important events such as like child protection laws because some ch children had bad experiences and because they didn't have those laws then, then um, well, they didn't have the laws so people invented them because people were bad people. Evacuation affected attitudes and beliefs today as it makes children nowadays feel more grateful for that they live with their parents and that the country's not at war and they're not getting bombed and wherever we are we're safe and we don't have to move. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, has it affected people for a long time? Well, um, well, it, it affected the people, like some LJ people say, they're still affected. Yeah, they some might, people. They might be orphans. Or, or orphanage. So they don't remember. And that's kind of similar to evacuation. Um, have people been deeply affected by it? Well, people's memories and like psychologically, they probably have been affected. Like abandonment and that kind of stuff. But some people that have good experience, <laughs> they probably it probably affected them still, but it just really made them more grateful. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you buy me one of these? I think it looks really good. Um, I think we've got a level eight. <laughs> yeah. Um, Please stop recording. As you can see in our film, people's opinions of evacuation can vary. Like some people have a good experience, and they stay with good parents, and they might even want to stay with that evacuation family but some people's um, experiences were bad they could get abused or they could have just not had a very nice time or they could have had to like been made to work really hard um so all of the farm yeah and so some people's opinion might be really good but some might not be bad and for the people that are living in the in the country they might have not liked having little children running around but some might have enjoyed it, but thanks, thanks for watching. watching.